think that brings it, you know, right where we need to be. I don't see any issues. Uh, are we doing a public hearing? Is that where we're at right now? Yes, it is. Yes, we are. So, uh, should we make a motion to, I, I want to make a motion to open the public hearing. Well, did I it's not? been opened. It's, it's been, been open. open I oh, it's been open. Okay. It's okay. That's all. He's you human. Nine hours. <laughs> yeah. Poor yeah. guy. <laughs> it does. Uh, it does fit in. I believe there were special arrangements with this plaza too that really opened my eyes. I didn't understand that, but after the last meeting, yeah, it fits in real well. Lois, how do you think of it? You're the Oh boy, why Lois? Did you see me like zooming in on my phone? <laughs> oh, no. I know you expressed concern about this plaza and how well it's laid out. And how it really does look nice. Yeah, because it's an it's aesthetically pleasing. It, it truly is. It's a very pretty plaza. I like what they did with the sign when I'm looking at right here, but I do have a question. Is there a canopy? Does It looks like it, it's sticking out. Is there a canopy? No, no, it's just the uh, design of the facade. All right, but you see where I was? Yeah, I see it. Right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it would have been great. There was a reason why I was asking. and It was a, it was a different reason. It would have been great if that was a canopy that that was in front of, really. Mm -hmm. uh, the not, none of the others have canopies, so. No, they like don't. That's why I said it would have been great. There was some place I was going with this. Yeah, I'm I'm happy with what you've done with it. Thank you. And I like the red letters that he chose. And if there, it's other buildings there right next to him. Michael's has the red letter. So it, it kind of does flow with it. You can see, I don't know. Thank you for your efforts. I mm -hmm. appreciate it. Yep, it was a uh, uh, team yeah. effort. I do have a question. Is the background going to be on white or is it going to be more in the color scheme with the rest of the plaza that is uh, there oh, more of Tone. As per as per this design, it's based uh, to be white. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's what it's, uh, it's supposed to look like finished. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other questions about the illustrious board? Andy, you, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. You have another question? No, no, and that's okay. not that's not what's in front of us anyway. I was just curious if it was yeah. going to mm -hmm. be a different color than most of the others. The only time you're going to get a chance to ask it. Yeah. No, I th actually I think PetSmart's white as well. So might be. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody else in this public hearing who wants to speak for or against this barrier? Can I ask another question now that Andy brought that up and I'm looking at it that it's not a canopy? Uh, the white, never mind. Never mind. Okay. It was, that's not what we're dealing with. Never mind. It was All picture right. between let me, picture. Let me ask the question again in the public hearing. <laughs> no. Is there, anybody no. Else, <laughs> is there anybody else who wants to speak for or against us granting this variance? I want to be fair to everybody. I'm talking to the general public right now. Okay, guys, you have anything else you want to say before we come out of this and go to vote? All right, I motion that we come out of the public hearing and go to vote. Second that. All, right. All in favor, raise your hand because we're on TV. Aye. Aye, aye. That's the only reason I'm asking. Sometimes we drop. Things get dropped on this kind of a technology. Okay. When is the grand opening, sir? <laughs> so uh, the grand opening, I don't have the exact date on that. Uh, but it's, uh, it's a few Hi, months. this is Raheel from Burlington. I can get you that date. If you bear with me one second. Okay. I'm looking forward to all the new goodies in there. <laughs> All right. Right now, we're slated for a first uh, of October opening. Oh, really? Nice. Very nice. Okay. I apologize. That's Are you cool. the one on the telephone? Yes. Could you spell your name for me, please? Raheel, R A H E E L. And what was your last name? It's just for my records. Sure. Yusuf, Y O U S A F. Perfect. Thank you so much. I have one more question, if it's okay. How long will the other one be closed? It's going to take you, just out of curiosity, to close down one and transfer everything to the other one. 
How long are you um, anticipating I, being closed? Um, I don't know off the top of my head, but it's usually not long because we have to have certain criteria to class it as a relocation. So mm -hmm. I, I don't think it's, I think it's like two, two to three weeks just to get the merchandise in. Right, and customers that are returning something maybe or just want to pick up a gift or whatever. Yep. So thank you. And um, <laughs> when when the other store is about to wrap up, it will have a clearance sale as well. So you might be able to get better deals then too. Well, we'd appreciate a heads up. I know my wife would. We were just there today. No. Okay. Uh, what is the pleasure as well. of our board on this? I'll make a motion that we approve the 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 proposed signage for the Burlington as presented to us tonight at this meeting. I will second what Andy just said. Ms. Smith? Yes. Mr. Golevin? Yes. Mr. Reginato? Yes. Mr. Schultes? Yes. Chairman Porter? Uh, yes, this is a nice improvement and you know, welcome to the town of Ulster staying here. We appreciate that on your part. So yes, absolutely. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. I will be communicating tomorrow with Gabrielle then for the next steps to follow. Wonderful. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When Old Navy moved, they stocked the new store with new merchandise. <clears throat> they closed the old store on Friday and opened the new store on Saturday. That's what I was thinking almost. Wow, that's crazy. That's this awesome. There's a lot of merchandise to, to try to put into another location. We before, have that much. Before we move ahead, the reason I'm encouraging everybody to give a long roll, uh, I was just made a, informed of a meeting that just transpired in another locality, the zoning board. And the board really went against the, the mandate of who caused the hardship. They didn't want to get into that or hear anything. They just did a complete, yeah, no explanation to uh, set back within six inches of the, of the property line. You said six inches? Six inches, uh, the whole uh. new building, and uh, in addition to a house, and no explanation or nothing. So if there's ever a challenge, if we're on record with a full, you know, a roll, long roll like that, we explain our vote, chances are it won't go to a court because we're on record. So it's one way of saving the town. And mm. extra expense for legal issues. And it's also good to think think it through. People like to know what's on the board's mind. Now I'll probably say yes the next time, but <laughs> so it be... sounds like you did a training. I'm proud of you. Good for you. You did. Yeah. I was told this by somebody who was a very close friend of mine. And when I was on Alderman and City Council, Tony Crispino. He says, always explain. Oh. Well. Tony. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tony Crispino, Clifton Thanks Avenue, much. Tony Crispino. So it, it was good advice because people want to know what you, why you're voting the way you're voting. Okay, yeah. are you prepared to move ahead? I have to go back and bring my screen up here on an iPad. It refreshes too quickly. Okay, uh, let's go to uh, open a public hearing for Z401 by Ann Donnelly. Make a motion we open the public hearing. Do I have a second? I'll second that. Okay, all in favor? Yes. Aye. 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 All right, looking good. Okay. Is Diane Donnelly here or is somebody speaking on her behalf? I do not see her. I'm reading the tea leaves and I don't see anything saying it. Did you receive any other communications other than what we received at the last month? Gabby? I have not, no, I have no new documentation, um, nothing. And I know I sent everything to her just along with everybody else. So I'm not too okay. sure why she's not here. Was she aware that the meeting was changed, Gabby? Yes, she was. Well, good, I, thank you. I have a uh, I'm sure she was. Could we proceed with this, Jason, one way or the other? Jason? Jason? I think he may have left the meeting. I don't know if he was having some issues connecting, but I don't see him either at the moment. We can always- We have such poor back. service where he's located too. Honestly, such yeah. 
bad, bad service that I have spectrum coming tomorrow, actually, again. So um, it, it's in and out. As you've seen, I lost you for a second, too. Mm -hmm. So um, I guess we can close the public hearing for now and then circle back and reopen it if you guys want to proceed that way. I would rather hear from Jason first because there is a, always an outside yeah. chance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if we could proceed, I'd like to. Uh, Thank me, you, Mr. Let Chair. Me, let me do it this way. Anyone want to speak against the proposed zoning variance? We'll take it from the top that way. Is there anyone here who wants to speak against the variance? So we go on record. A moment. Okay. Try to be fair to everybody involved. Okay, let's. Uh... Sorry, can you hold on? I'm, I'm confused. Which which one are we on right now? Um, thank you, Karen. Diane Donnelly, 135 Karen Highway. Oh, okay. Okay. Got it. Yeah. So I, I, I thought um, I thought we had some emails saying that that needed to go just to uh, to Warren. That, no, uh, no, that's her interpretation of law. We still have local. Oh, that was her interpretation. Right. Okay. That's why when she discussed it, I directed her to speak to our town attorney because she couldn't okay. see why we had to go through this process. Yeah. So it's important to hear from him. Yeah. So I opened up for a negative on the variance. Nobody has spoken against granting the variance, but we do have letters on file from the neighbor. Oh, so no. we know we have, we've had something in communication not granted. It is basically about the fill that was used. And yes, um, the neighbor, I got numerous phone calls from her and she, I guess, is the only neighbor now that lives in the area um, that knows what happened back then. And I guess whoever the inspector, it's her understanding that whoever the inspector was then never made him pull any sort of permit, um, but basically said to go ahead and fill the property. Um, and it's my understanding that they brought um, not clean fill from what was the old Home Depot site or prior to Home Depot, I should say, and the hot shop and things such as toilets and just random materials was dumped there and covered with soil. So that is what she expressed to me. I wanted to make the board aware of because I guess the realtor, when speaking with anybody looking at the property, they don't have to tell them any of this information prior to selling. I I, I highly doubt her. Let's yeah. listen to her. Yeah, get Andy. Um, so even, even if it's not quote unquote clean fill, mm -hmm. was it was it um something of, of something where I mean, does she have to do a phase one? Was it something that included substances that are harmful? Or is it just you know, like you said, just uh, blacktop and, uh, you know, not, not, and, and believe it or not, blacktop is considered clean fill, even yep. with the petroleum. Mm -hmm. So I was just curious, is that a deterrent, even if that's what it's built on? There are a lot of places that are built on a whole lot worse. So I'm, I was curious, are there any of the things that are supposedly questionable? I read does that, that make a difference? I read her letter. There was no accusations of hazardous material. It was just yeah. dubious different directions from different places. It wasn't from one one place. Yeah. Basically, what the half of the stores in this town are built on. And Back in the 70s, the they just took one, dumped it in the other. You don't even want to know what IBM was built on. Trust me. I mean, you know. Like, <laughs> well, and this is all also just what she's saying. I mean, there's no right. records of what's been put there. There's right. no permit of anything being filled. So, I mean, there's no way, there's nothing for us to go look at and say this is what's here. It was kind of just done. She's so, going to be hooking up into the, the, the public services anyway of the municipal water and sewer. So it's not like her well is going to be compromised. It's not like we're worried about her sept, right? Is she tying into municipal? Her issue is about the debris that was, I used the word debris, I'm sorry. No, I'm asking no. though for this, this, yeah. for this location, nope. right? Nothing it's going right into the municipal town, the town sewer and water, right? There like, is a water and a sewer lateral to the property. 
And, and she's planning on hooking into that with that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I so, would assume so, but I, yeah, that's up to the planning department. That's planning, them, yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's, that's not that's, our thing. So it's Mr. Ring's problem. Yep. Well, it, it's it, Warren's it, problem. It <laughs> Warren's problem. It, it doesn't go to planning at this point. Um, Gabby, excuse me, you guys talk, but Gabby, could you call Jason and see if he's going to come back on? I do not have any contact at home. Um, yeah. I didn't answer his phone, but I definitely I do. I'll take care of it. Thank you. Warren. What's the procedure uh, if the person that's asking for the variance doesn't show up? What happens? That's Are what we... I'm asking for. Yeah. We I mean, in the past, yeah, in the past, it's been tabled, um, but I'd rather check with Jason and see how he would like to proceed legally. Yes. Hi, Jason. Um, we have a question for you. The property on Van Curen, the uh, individual's not here. Can we proceed with the vote or do we have to table this? Question. The question was, she's not here. Can we proceed with a vote one way or the other, or do we have to table it till she is here? Are there other neighbors there? No, nobody else to speak against or on behalf. But there's letters. We have the letters on file from last time with us, so that's about it. The same letters you I have. I would suggest that we take care of this and we well, so I, I would suggest we um, open the public hearing. Which we have. We have a, you have. Okay, good. Yeah. And I would suggest we keep the public hearing open until the June meeting. Okay, you know, I've done that once or twice before. So we would table it. I, I will be on in like five minutes. Okay, so we'll keep the meeting open, but then we'll proceed with the preliminaries. Is that correct? That's legal? Yes. Yeah, that's... So you'll, you'll uh, make a motion, we'll make a motion to adjourn the public hearing to the June meeting, to continue it open to the June meeting. Okay, everybody got that? Yeah. Yes. Yes. We'll make a motion to continue the public hearing on this particular case to the June meeting. So and just we'll... so you know, Bob, tell the board that I didn't speak to her on Monday. Okay. Can anyone? Can anyone hear what I'm? Go ahead. Yeah, I spoke to her on Monday, and she indicated to me that she would be at the meeting on Wednesday. All right. Well, she's not. And maybe uh, an emergency. I'm thinking. Yeah, maybe something so, happened. So the recommendation yeah. of council is this: we keep the public hearing open for her until June. We don't close it. All right. And then we'll we'll just continue we'll just continue onto our preliminary. Thank you, Jason. I know you'll be back on in a few minutes. If I made a mistake, you feel free to correct me. Nope, you're fine, Bob. Thank right. you. Fine. Thank you. I hope everything's okay with her. Yeah. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to make a motion that we continue the public hearing for her until June. Okay. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. Now we can proceed to our preliminary uh, information. That's what I was concerned about. I didn't want to spend all night. Wait, did Gabby have to do a roll call for that? No, we haven't called the meeting yet. Yeah, it's up to you. I could I could do it either way. This is just preliminary. All right, that's cool with me. If you feel comfortable. You know can... what I mean? Just because she's not there, we're on record. and Since we're tabling it, let's do it. I call Smith. Forward. Oh, yes. Miss Circle 11? Yes. Thank you, Bob. Mr. Reginato? Yes. Mr. Schultes? Yes. Chairman Porter? We're going to keep this meeting open due to the fact that we want to be fair to the applicant, and we're going to open it till June, so I'm going to vote yes on that. We want to be fair to everybody, but yes. uh, don't try our patience. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Chairman. Okay. Next on the order of fun and games. <laughs> preliminary hearing. Candy Coon. Yeah, um, it's actually 
Christian artist. I'm on for candy. I purchased the home in between waiting for this. She's also my mom. She still lives here, if that matters. Okay. As long as you're entitled, empowered to speak for her. Sure. I mean, I own the property. So does that give me enough? Yep. Cool. Okay. A variance to move your shed. I had the paperwork on that. Can we bring that up? I'm getting a stiff neck going between computers. I know there was a hand sketched uh, drawing of what is intended to be done with this. Yeah, it's very well drawn. I'll just say so myself. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I love confidence. <laughs> I think Burlington people should hire you. I agree. <laughs> so now give us an explanation of what we're looking at. Sure. So there's a there's a shed existing already due to, to the topography of the yard. Uh, the whole thing is on basically what you would call like a 30 degree angle. So you can't put the shed anywhere else. So when the shed went in, there was another neighbor to the other <laughs> side. Turns out there's a right away in between there and we just need to get a variance because it's not 20 feet from the property line okay i'm taking these little dots across here shows like gradients of the hill no that's a that's a little fence that's there uh oh. that's oh. all good thing I, asked. I i couldn't i couldn't add in the gradients of the hill i'm not that uh, technically savvy okay don't have to be this right of way you have there is that a paved right of way, like a, a shared? No, road? it's just a, it's a dirt right of way that goes into some undeveloped woods. I'm sorry, underdeveloped what? Woods. 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 He said. Okay. Are the power lines up behind you? No, they're further up the road. Further up, right? Yeah. Yep. So what is that across, on the other side of the right away? That sketch, that artistic. That's the, yeah, that's a that's the artistic rendering of the neighbor's house. I get house. that. It is it's a of the neighbor's house. house. No, thank you. But then, actually, the neighbor's house faces the right of way. Um, they use that as their driveway to get in, and but it's still set, you know, on the road. How wide is that right away that you're six foot from? You said 20 um, feet? Well, it's six foot from the line of trees, right? <laughs> Which is where our line is. And then there's about three to four feet of some brush. And then there's the dirt road. Yeah, that's not it. But and then there's the, and then there's a, <laughs> the dirt. The dirt uh, right away is about, I don't know, eight feet, 10 feet wide. That's it. Okay, so the highlighted property is your property. Yep. Okay. And there's the dirt road, and you're coming up there. Okay, I see what you mean. But he said that the neighbors use that to get into their their driveway. So if they they had a delivery or anything, it still wouldn't affect it because you'd still be 26 feet. Oh, oh yeah, we're out loud. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it's, out loud. it's 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 very far away. It's also the shed is, is already there, so there's no reason to worry about delivery. <laughs> there's always a reason to get new furniture, trust me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I have two driveways, so I'm okay. I can get yeah. it wherever we need to go. Thank you for worrying about that, though. You're right. Thanks. I was concerned about the neighbors, too, though, you know, make sure that everybody yeah, they're, <laughs> has. They're good. Is that a right away into the vacant land? Yeah, it actually stops. As you can see, it stops right at the end of uh, all of the neighbor's property. The right away only goes to to the the land. Okay. It doesn't actually go into the back into anywhere. Just it's there's a right now a tree had fallen and there's a tree across it. So. All right. Christian, are you controlling this PowerPoint for us right now? No, ma'am. This is not me. No. Do not. No, it's me. Gabby? Who is? 
I can't hear. Who's yes, doing it's, it? It's me. It's Gabby. Gabby. Gabby, Gabby you're fabulous. This is wonderful that you're so on top of this like this. I have to tell you, kudos to you. Yeah, that definitely helps. Yeah, very impressive. How? Yeah, great job, Gabby. Thank you. Just trying to make it easy so you guys all understand what we're looking at. Yep, it helps. I have no questions. I mean, come on board. It's up to you guys. What do you want to do? Mm -hmm. We have to go. This has to go to public hearing, right? Correct. And we're not. I'll make a motion. Um, I'm okay if we move it to a public hearing. You want to make a motion? I'll make a motion that we move it to a public hearing. I'll second that. Wait to Gabby. Give Ms. Us a Smith? Yes. Mr. Golevin? Yes. Mr. Reginato? Yes. Mr. Schultes? Yes. Chairman Porter? I like to say I give up, but I'm going to say an explanation. This is fine. We've done it before. It looks like a good, it, it doesn't affect anything that I can see. So, yeah, it's the variance, not by his making. Okay. All right. Because you see that body of water, you can't put it over there. So, I'm going to say yes, let's move it to the public hearing. Hello, buddies. So sorry, I think you're going to be scheduled for next month. It was unanimous, so you'll be on a public hearing. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. Thank Arden. you. Thank you. All right, guys. Have a good night. Great you're job welcome. for your mom, by the way. Great job for your yeah. mom. Happy Mother's Day to your mom, too, <laughs> Christian, from Lois Cashel. Tell her. I will. I will definitely tell her. Thanks. Wow. Hello, sir. He's gone. Okay. We have Z406, Jason Howick. We have a six foot fence with a setback, 10, 10 feet from uh, Addis Street. That's down in East Kingston. Mr. Howick. Got to explain what going to do. I hear feedback. Is there? Yeah, I hear it too. Thank you, Chairman. I heard. I thought it was me, and I'm trying to turn something off. No, they're coming after you. They're coming from. They're just. They're coming. No, no, no. Me. I'm thinking I had like Andy taught me how to do it and run them both without the feedback, and I was doing really well. So I heard that. I thought. All right, hey, Mr. Howick, are you with us? Yes. Yep. Thank you. Uh, thank you. First off, thank you for sitting there and being so patient with us. Oh, that's all right. No problem. So, want to explain what you have to do and why? I'm fencing my yard in. Uh, I don't know how else to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. There we go. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> well said. <laughs> and I need you to say yes. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Let's, yeah, arrow's moving around. Let's, it's let's summer weather. Let's put the arrow where we're going to be uh, given the variance, okay, Gab? This side here, right? On Addis Street? Yeah, all the way down. Um, okay. Yep, from there to there, yeah. So you're running a 100-foot fence? Correct, yep. Okay. Wow. Well, that's along the back end of your That's property. just the back of the street. I'm doing the sides and the <laughs> everything else, too. That's another 160 on the one side and almost the same on the other. But I'm not... I think it's that. about 430 <laughs> feet altogether. I was so. thing, Andy. I'm right there with you. Whoa, whoa. Scratch off. I need a more second mortgage on that one. Yeah, <laughs> That's right? That's a DIY. That's a Are you doing a victory. wood fence right now? <laughs> yeah. Rough glad I got it. trees in the backyard. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah I, no I hope you bought that no wood tree COVID. <laughs> well, I just got it a couple month and a half ago, and it's gone up $20 a section since then. So. <laughs> yes, it has. It's so crazy. sad. Warren, yes, it is. Warren, excuse me, Warren, what should be the setback on that side of the property? 30. 30. Wow. From the center, Warren, center road? Edge of the road. Edge oh. of the road. In, in the town of Ulster, any portion of your property that fronts a street is considered a front setback. Okay. He has a through lot, which means he has two front setbacks. Wow. Oh. 
on John Street. Yeah, it's pretty narrow streets. That's the street that goes down to the new bike trail, right? Yep. East Kingston? Yep. Yeah. So if you look at my cursor, here's Addis, where he's going to be 10 feet off of. And where would the, yeah, I could, I could see where 30 feet would be a, an issue. Yeah, there's, there's no driveways either side of me. Gabby, can you go to Ariel, please? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's six foot high. You said the fence is going to be six feet high. Yes. Yeah. And what kind of fence? Seriously, the wood? You're going to do uh, wood? No, white vinyl. Oh, my goodness. Good for you. I'm yeah. jealous. <laughs> I just thought of taking care of the wood. It's going to be a lot of extra work. So it's cheaper. In the oh, my. Right now. So why did you settle on six feet? You want me to go eight? No. <laughs> my question would still be why 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 eight feet i mean no is there, but uh, is there something that you can't move it back far enough like i see a structure i think there oh uh, why 10 feet off the road you're saying why well, do i want to do a setback of 10 feet you're saying? A, why do you need the variance is what i'm really asking for because it looks like you got some room here so i'm trying to figure out that one is there a structure back there no that's that's probably my uh, it might be my trailer or something sitting there, okay. but I got my, I got my camper back there. I got a, my trailer back there and that's about it. And I got my pool back there too. You got a pool. But, uh, All right. I do so have a pool. I I got know is like why you have to not follow the zoning laws. So this is called a variance and you have to justify why you need the variance. That's all. It's just like you don't have the room to go back 30 feet, that kind of a thing. Well, I wouldn't be able to store all my 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 trailers and stuff in the yard, you yeah. know. Yeah. So I got cool. a 30 foot camper that I need to get in there and stuff like that. Okay. So. okay. And it's a I figured it's a dead end road. I didn't think anybody'd have a problem with it. My neighbors don't care. I spoke with them, they didn't care. That's good. So is this going down the hill are you on the hill part or top yes of the, uh, hill? the white house is about at the top of the hill the one that's yeah. to the left there mm -hmm. that one's at the top and then it starts going down down the hill towards me there and they just redid a house near you it's yep that's beautiful. uh yep two houses up for me yep two houses up I have yep, to, to the left that. Two houses from John, on John Street to the left. Yep. Right where the arrow is, yeah. Right there. So that won't affect them either. No, it wouldn't affect them, no. The closest driveway is the one down on Atta Street there at the top of the hill, which mm -hmm. I would I believe his site would probably be above my fence anyway. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, you're These just- like great neighbors to have with a pretty house like that. You know, somebody taking care of their property like that is really a great neighbor to have. Yeah, you got a nice distance there. There's a that was a beautiful hamlet at one time. It was every yard was beautiful, absolutely yeah. gorgeous. But um, well, let's hope it gets that way again. <laughs> I hope it does too. I really do. My it's mom's family down there in East Kingston. I yeah. rode the East Kingston school bus for many years. Mm. <laughs> yeah, my family worked at brickyards for until they closed. Who's talking, Mr. Oh. Chairman? Yes. Your family worked those brickyards too? Yeah, the Mitchells. Well, mine were Fays, F-A-Ys. And those in St. Coleman's Church, if you look at the um, pews and up on the altar, the altar has some of the original bricks from the bricklayers that carried them up and built that altar. As a matter of fact, the altar across the street that they moved because of Callanans was all the original bricks carried up by our families, Andy's family, your family, my family, every, probably Mr. Reginato's family, it's somehow, you know. It so, awesome. yeah, it's very nostalgic there. It could be an absolutely gorgeous neighborhood. Just to let you and know, it, Alec, they used to say that the houses that my grandfather, my Nenuts, lived in was mm -hmm. built by the lunch buckets from his four sons and him coming up from the, uh, the bricks yes. every day. They filled them yep, up, bricks they filled every up day, the lunch yep. buckets with bricks. 
<laughs> my my neighbor Matsi Matsi used to tell me that Matsi. also Matsi when he was my neighbor here he used to tell me all about that. <laughs> the yeah. Nagis yeah. built their houses. There was four Nagi houses across from John's Quick Check. There, mm. one of my sisters live over there. But those houses, our cousin Phyllis ended up marrying George Nagy. The Nagis carried them in their lunch boxes, <laughs> literally in their lunch boxes and built those brick houses that you see across from John's quick check. And, and they're still standing and they're beautiful. Yep. Yeah. Wait, so wait, he's not building a brick fence. He's building a vinyl fence. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. All right, so he doesn't get more historically. Let's, let me ask you a question and bring us right back on track. I, I'm gonna make a motion we move this to public hearing. Unless there's any more questions, I'll back off until everybody's satisfied. Oh, what is more? Oh, sorry. I want to add something else also, if I can. Okay, sure. That little, there's a little 10 foot by 100 foot section there that's Ooh. over to the right of my property where it's an attic. That's going to be also fenced too. I'm in the process of buying that now. That's going to be fenced. Can also. you say, repeat what you just said? I'm sorry. Sliver. She just colored it in there. That little sliver is going to be mine shortly, and I'm going to fence that also. Okay. But that's well. Let's let's. I don't know. Let's deal with this first, and then you know you know you know the process. Unless you want to, well, you don't own that property, correct? Well, uh, the lawyer's got the paperwork right now, and I'm going to be signing it in a couple of days. So that we're in the process of doing that as we speak. So. So may may I ask yeah. a question? Because if you're going to change the fence, then you really then you'd have to come back. Why would you mm -hmm. want to do this and then do it? Well, again? I put that. I put that on the thing when I did it. That's what they said to do. So, but if you Warren, look at my drawing, it's on there. I have a question, Warren. If he received permission the way the applications are written and who's appropriate to be in front of the board, if he received permission from the previous owner that he's purchasing the property from right now, can we incorporate that fence with this? So he doesn't have to spend the additional expense and the additional application fee. I, I mean, yeah, but that's a good point. That section of fence in that sliver is on the application. It's at the very top of the application. Up the very top of the application right there. It's included. It's included. Okay. See why Warren's so good. So you're covered. Warren's got you. Thanks, Warren. Oh, well, then I'll, proceed Thank you, Warren. My, I'll proceed with my motion to move this to public hearing. I second it. Okay. Steve, was that you? Yes, it was. It was okay. Steve, yes. Ms. Smith? Yes. Mr. Golovin? Yes. Mr. Reginato? Yes. Mr. Schultes? Yes. Chairman Porter? I give up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, will you have the property by the time of the uh, public meeting? When's the public meeting? Next month. Next, yeah, I should. Yeah. Like I said, the lawyer has all the paperwork. He's doing everything now. We just put it all in two days ago. So he should it'll have that on, written up. And it'll be on June over. 9th, just so you know. Okay. It'll yeah, be I should I should have no, but no problem by then. Yeah, I should have so that. Him that you need to have it done and wrapped up by June 9th. Okay. Who's your lawyer? I have to ask. Uh, it's my neighbor, Cliff Cole's lawyer. He's the one I'm buying. The oh, cool. From, so. Oh, very cool. But Gabby Warren, wouldn't he just need a letter at this point, even if it wasn't closed? I was just going to ask Jason if, for whatever reason, it doesn't go through by then, Jason, would a letter from Cliff Cole suffice for permission for when he does purchase the property? Yes, that'd be fine. Okay, so if in any, at any rate, if, if for whatever reason, Jason, it doesn't go through, um, just see if you can get something in writing. I do have a letter that you can have him have notarized, giving you permission to apply for the variance. Okay. All right. Very cool. Thank you. See you next month. Okay. I have Thank to you. do a drive by. I'm going to drive by and take well, check it out. Good luck to you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Um, we have discussion on board. Um, can I just say something real quick? Thank you everybody for trying to make it easier for one, another one of our residents. Honestly, I love our board that we do that for our residents in town of Ulster that deserve that. So I try to make it easy for as easy for the applicants as possible. That's our job. We, well, just, we save it for lawyers and businessmen. 
we have a great board. We really do. Okay, now next up on our batting order, we have discussion about the proposed digital sign law. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm beat on it. I realize we're treating like any other sign. The biggest thrust of this, I believe, will rest mainly with, with Warren on the enforcement of the issue and on the planning board. Uh, you guys have anything else you want to add to say? This is our opportunity to put it in there. Okay. Uh, Bob, I just want to say the planning board met last night and they uh, endorsed the um, proposed law and okay. they asked the town board to to adopt it. So just wanted to let you know that. Well, let's not let the planning board one up us here. Sure. But I thought that's what happened at the la at our last discussion that it was being forwarded, just like like Jason said. That's the way I understood it. I guess there was some questions in the wording, from what I understand. So uh, ring one down back to the guys to clarify that. Uh, so if nobody has any objections against it, let's make a a moralizing resolution to let the board that we agree with it, and the board should pass it. As how about that? I think that's a good idea. That's fine. Okay. So um, I don't know how to word it exactly, but what I can suggest a is um, a, res a motion to ask Gabby to send a letter to the supervisor um, indicating that the zoning board uh, supports this this proposed law. Whatever he said. <laughs> I'll make that motion. What Jason said. And I'm double second it. All right. All in favor. Oh, we'll do a roll call for this one. Oh. Ms. Smith? I have to say no, honestly. You're going to say no to forwarding it to the town board for approval? Oh, no. I'm going to say no to the approval. I just feel that it's taken something away from the zoning board. We won't be this zoning board forever. And I feel that um, the zoning board was established for a reason, and the planning board was established for a reason, and... I have to say, I say no. And there's plenty others to say yes. So I say no, I, I don't wanna see something taken away from the zoning board or the planning board for that fact. I think they balance each other out. Okay, Mr. Golovin? Yes. Mr. Reginato? Yes. Mr. Schultes? Yes. Chairman Porter? Um. We still have the authority to decide on the size of the board, of the board, the size of the sign, where we still treat it like a sign. It will be coming before us. This is something that's coming at us in the future. We're either gonna have to either deal with it now or deal with it piecemeal, one little sign at a time. At least now we'll have some standards. I do agree though, we have to be careful to give away our authority that we have because we're basically the last appeals that people have <clears throat> before they have to go to a court physically to do that. I am gonna vote yes on it. Okay, thank you. If I can just add something, the reason, may I? I I'm, I'm, I am voting yes because I find that it, when you have a clearer definition of what is allowed, it, it's not that it takes our importance away, but it gives us better guidelines to streamline the process for the public. So that that's I, why I agree. I'm voting this. Right. Okay. And let me clarify something. I agree with the proposed law. I 1000% support the proposed law. I just wish it would stay with the zoning board mm -hmm. of appeals and not be transferred to the planning board. I like the law that was established. Jason put a lot of work into that. And so did Jeffrey. And, and it's good, I like the law. I just don't like the idea that it was transferred to the planning board. So please be clear on that. It's not that I don't agree with the law. I do agree with the law and we needed a law in place and a law such as what they, um, they came up with. So I just am uncomfortable with losing that power, that not power. I, I just think that the people deserve a balance our residents do so that was my that's why i said no just to clarify myself okay well thank you you're welcome thank you if, for letting if me you do want, that. if you want more stuff to do 
No, uh, that's not it. You're missing. I can start denying a lot of I'm stuff. I'm going to disconnect now. My and they'll be coming you for everything. <laughs> no, you're missing it, I guess. We have well, one I'm more not. thing to discuss. Uh, that's going to go with a recommendation with one no. Uh, one more thing to discuss. We discussed this kind of like in emails. Uh, some point in time, real soon, we're going to come back to live, in-person hearings, public hearings. And I'd like to get a poll of all you guys, how you feel about that. It won't obviously be now, but probably when the town board meets like that, we'll also be meeting that way. How does town board already does. It does? I see. Yes. yes. Oh. Bob, the uh, planning board met last night and they voted in a consensus manner to go back to public meetings in person. And their their chairman is gonna look into whether the senior center might be used for those for, for, a, for a meeting, it's a little more open, people can spread apart. Um, so they're going they're looking into it. They haven't made a decision about June yet, but they indicated they are exploring meeting in person. So just to give you some context. Thank you. I wasn't asking for a decision for June, but I just wanted to know how everybody felt because I know it's coming. Uh, we just have to deal with it. We get past the COVID area and move ahead. So anyone want to take a little poll that we can pass along how we feel about this? I'm for it. I mean, I have more of a risk than you can imagine. But I will, I will say at the beginning of the pandemic, when we were still holding planning board meetings, we did hold them in the senior center. And I had it set up. I'd go in there and set up before the meeting so everybody was socially distanced. You know, nobody was closer than six feet to anyone else. We checked everybody coming in. Um, if we get a large group, then certain people will have to wait until it's yeah. their turn to come into the building. Which we um, can do when uh, call them in according to how they are on our uh, agenda for this. Because you can, yeah, we can yeah, do that. You can fit quite a few people in there in groups. Um, because you guys don't have, like, the, the planning board last night, I think we had nine. And that's a lot of people. Um, mm -hmm. So yours, I mean, tonight we had uh, five and one person for each. So five of you, me, Gabby, and five others. So we would all fit in there. I guess the real question is going to be, how are you as a board want to be situated at the head of the room? I, I personally don't have a problem with it. Um... When it comes to the public hearing, is that going to be uh, limited to how many people of the public can come in, or uh, you know? Well, I'm going to I'm going to limit the number of people in the building. So in the building. In, in the building, you know, by the social distancing. So if we get a public hearing, we had. Um, I'll have to clarify if we're still going to do this. We were taking temperatures and taking information. I was informed. Now we are not doing that. Right. You can't do that now. Can't do that now but we can limit the number of people in there. So I'll have to have a sign-in sheet why, where, what you're here for, because um, mm -hmm. people come in at varying times. And then we'll go with the first one. If there's 15 people that want to visit the first public hearing, then the rest of the people that are there for something else will have to wait. Right, so we follow, they have to go according to our agenda. Yep. They'd have to wait outside. Um, what if, what if uh, uh, the number of people that do want to attend a hearing uh, exceeds the number we're allowing to come in. Um, you know, some people might 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 not uh, appreciate that, but they they don't have their voice heard. We could do that oh, in chips. The ones that are speaking, they're finished. They can then leave the room because they're basically are done. Okay, and the next bunch can come in. I mean, after a public comment section, the ones who were speaking have already spoken. They're done. May, yeah. may I, like can I make a point? Yo. I, 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 only because I feel like if you're going to go to a public hearing and then you're shut out of the public hearing, only because then we need to somehow make it so you can hear it live. In a different uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. I think that that's the my only concern really is. I mean, I think either you're going to have to continue to make it available on Zoom for those who are can't get in, can listen to it. But if you have everybody and it's only in person again and you're limiting how many people and just because they've made their point, they have every right to sit and listen to everything else that's been said and discussed. Well, that's true. I didn't think you of can't yeah, we have an open, 
I mean, New York State has the open meetings law that we really do have to follow those guidelines. God forbid something, you know, and just another suggestion when glide path was going on and we received more people than what we anticipated, what the supervisor Jason suggested was we they held off the meeting for, I think, another two weeks till they could get into a larger um, place. I don't remember how you did it, Jason. What it, do you recall that, Jason, when everybody was crunched in there two years ago and the yeah. supervisor postponed it or something? Every once in a while, we will have a meeting, you know, even pre-pandemic uh, that, you know, the fire code says we can't have more than 75 people in the room. Very rarely, once every five years, we'll, have, we'll, we'll get that situation. Um, and then we can just adjourn the meeting until we get a bigger room or, you know, we, we, there's ways around that. Uh, I, I think for this board, we're not going to have 35 people. I don't think yeah. in, the, in the senior center. I, I really doubt that. If we do, we will deal with it. We'll keep some people outside. You know, there, there's ways around it. But um, I, I don't think we're going to get 30, 35 people in, in the senior center. We're, we're not the cool kids. We won't get the, <laughs> the people. Not until they watch us on Zoom. Yeah. Don't, don't uh, laugh too hard about this, but is there an outside area that has in the town of Ulster that you could hold the meeting at during the summer months, if it's nice weather. You know, one, one option I've, I've kicked around, it would be the Robert Post Park, the pavilion. Yeah. Um, mosquitoes. I love you know, that idea, That Jason. could work for the summer. Um, I don't think it's gonna work no. past October. Um, you know, it's up to the board. I, I mean, it's whatever you, all of you are comfortable with. And I think it really should be a, a consensus of all of you um how you want to proceed either continue zoom for the foreseeable future go to the senior center go to the park um you know whatever whatever is, is comfortable for all of you i love the park idea i think it's fabulous it's open open wide we're under pavilion regardless of the weather there's facilities there and it, it's beautiful all i can tell you about post park is it's always windy it, 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 it's you don't know what you're going to get. It's going to be hot. It's going to be muggy. It's going to be buggy. You need some kind of a sound system because you're still going to have to Correct. record the meetings. It's not as easy as you think it is to just push it outside. I also just, need a way to be able to record my meetings so you can thank hear you. them. So, so, so that's, that's also in there. So yeah. that's a technological problem. I have one question, Warren. Which is the larger of the two facilities, Brock or Town Hall? Um... Right now, town hall is very difficult due to the constraints put on it by the court system. There's all sorts of plexiglass and oh. so uh, we can look at it. I mean, they've been conducting it there. When the town board has their meeting, they put three up on the Diaz and then two down on tables. And then we just sit sporadically through the room. Um, I believe we can fit more in, in senior center, but I can do some research and I'll talk to the supervisor about the viability of using the courtroom now because we did not use it in the beginning of the pandemic. Correct. So um, I'll get you more information. Yeah, I would like to have a higher ceilings and more space. I think that would cover a lot of the issues we have. And at town hall, you actually can hear outside the little doorways on both ends. I would like to room for Zoom for a few more months myself. What about the room up at the highway department where you go in for pre-plan and then plan a board, Warren, that one back room there? I haven't That's been in there in at almost all. two years. Oh my God, what are you yeah, kidding me? Big. <laughs> no, I don't recall how big it was. I just said I haven't been in there in years. At least they have a refrigerator and coffee maker. I can fit the board in there and that's it. Yeah, it's oh, yeah, that's, about that's it. not a good idea then. No, no that's tiny. You want to hold okay. it in the highway garage? Oh, yeah. No! Oh God, no! No! To clear out the room. trucks first. It's a big I room. Know. I remember. All right. I want to. Oh, my God, no! Room. I want to get a consensus of everybody. Do we stay in the Zoom, or do we? Yes. Okay. I want for Zoom. That's my vote. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've been on Zoom only because it just keeps everything in one location for me. So I have my recordings. I have everything. It's just easier, record-wise. Everybody can tune in. Um, where people aren't separated, it just, it works better. I mean, we if it's something, if it's just a few people, we could probably do it in person. But when I get to 
more applicants yeah. and just in a confined tight space. You don't know if, if everybody's vaccinated and it's not required to ask. Um, so I don't, I mean, like I said, if it's just a couple applicants, it's not a big deal. It's easy. Okay. But when you get into more people, 10 on an agenda, not that we see that often, but when you get into that, it's a little trickier. Right. We continue to deal with the public. We keep thinking about it's just about us. And it really is. We are a public entity. We are you know, not yes. a public entity, but we yes. are here. We're serving the public. And I just feel like even though I'm vaccinated, I'm fine with no mask and I'm fine with being with people. I feel like it's just a little bit too early. I think we need at least another two months, maybe it, towards the middle of the summer, we can really make another plan. But that that's kind of how I feel. I think it's just a little too premature to start I, I feel back same, online. Yeah, I feel the same way. I, I don't want to take anything back to my wife who has leukemia. So I have to be extremely careful. She has no reason, we're all vaccinated, but that doesn't matter. You know, when you're on chemo, it doesn't help. So I, I, I'm going to suggest this and see where you guys want to go with it. Let's put this discussion off till June, okay? We're gonna do Zoom in June, okay? Well, have one what more did, discussion. Yeah, I know. If, yeah. Wow, sorry, what did Mr. Reginato and, and Kevin and Jason, I mean- I, 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 I have no problem with, with um, in person, but I, I completely understand what everybody's saying and, and I agree with that and that's fine with me also. So um, whatever you guys decide, I'm fine with. I, I don't mind doing it by Zoom. You know, I think it, it I, honestly, Zoom does make it a little easier for people. They don't mm -hmm. have to drive out to the place. Right. Um, you know, uh, we have all that information. Gabby puts it up, all the, the, the views and all that. We're all seeing the same thing at the same time. Uh, you know, so I, I'm, I'm fine with whatever everybody wants to do. I'm, I'm Steve, good with it. Steve, I think it's important to eventually get back, start getting back to some yeah. sort of normalcy, you know, but mm -hmm. if we're going to wait, that's fine. Steve, what do you think? I'm fine with going back, but I, I also respect everybody else's feelings. Um, like Andy, I, I go without a mask. I, I am vaccinated. You know, I like to get back to some normalcy, but um, I don't want to make anybody uncomfortable. So Zoom is fine until everybody um, feels that we can get in the building and, and, and be safe. Yeah, I think Zoom is safest way. I think Zoom is also convenient for me, honestly. I love the way Gabby pulls everything up for us right there. It's in front of us. I don't have to like squint at the paper. I like Zoom, but I'll go back if you want us to. Uh, yes, I was vaccinated. Yes, I will wear a mask. And whatever you decide, I think it's Zoom's convenient. I'd like to see us go back around September, October after summer and more vaccinated and it's just under control a little more. Okay, so we're we just following the board. <laughs> we'll, what we could do is this, all right, we'll discuss it again in June and we know for a fact June we will have a Zoom meeting. We might even have another one in July, okay? But for now, whatever documents come out, it's gonna be Zoom. Okay. And we'll talk about it again. Things can change, this stuff is changing so fast and your head is spinning. So that's how I feel. That's just my opinion. I want to learn with many of you guys. So I can keep going camping then. I don't have to worry yeah, about I being know you had that, but don't I know I'm camping. going away. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't also makes like it to, easier with that too. I right? Also, yes, I yeah. I think the work that was done by this board on that Burlington sign was outstanding. We all came to the We asked some questions. <laughs> Actually, you guys, it was a great job. And also Warren was an outstanding, outstanding source of re a resource and clarify this. I had no idea there was an agreement in that facility. I was treating it like any other science. So Warren did a great job on that. We appreciate your work on that. And Gabby, you were hitting, you hit it out of the park tonight. All right. So with all those nice wait, things, wait, wait, close wait. This <laughs> if, I, if you don't mind, what did Jason think about this? I mean, Jason's dad, he's also our, our attorney, he's dad first. Does he prefer the Zoom or does he prefer the in person? I, I agree with what, what Kevin and Steve said. I'm happy in person. I'm happy doing Zoom. It's whatever everyone is okay with. Thank you, Lois. You're welcome, Jay. And Warren, Warren's always working. So what difference does it make where I am? Yeah, with all that stuff. You're probably um, better off in there. 
I have more okay. resources here, but that's, yeah. you know. I mean, this, this, I mean, you have everything at your fingertips. It's, it's incredible. Okay. I, mean, I want to tell everybody a great job tonight. Um, I'll, I would like to entertain a motion to adjourn. Um, just real quick before you do, uh, with the uh, Van Curen Highway one there, we're, that's just, that's shelved for now, right? We're, yeah. If you can treat it as though it's been tabled till next month, but the public okay. section is open. So that's, okay. that's how we're treating it. And if she does right. it next month, then there has to be a gut check on what we're going to do with this. Yeah. I hope she's okay. Happy Father's Day next month to everybody. Y'all miss you. Mm -hmm. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. Uh, You're very motion. welcome. Thank you. Motion to adjourn. I'll make that Thank motion. You. I'll Aye. It. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yes. See you. Enjoy Aye. this beautiful weather. Bye. 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 All right. Good night, everyone. Thanks.